Welcome to Nani Notes. Well, here we're going to prove the alternate exterior angle theorem. This is exercise number 37, section 3.2. If your textbook looks like that one in the lower right corner. Um, we're going to start here with a pair of parallel lines. And I'm just going to use the single lowercase letter to denote the lines. So I've got in blue the two lines P and Q. We're given that they are parallel. And you can see as such I've um, got the tick marks on there to show, well, they're parallel. Wrote it down in my givens right there, line one, P, parallel to Q, given, easy squeezy. Well, what do we do next? You know, we got to start somewhere, and um, we're going to say that angle one is congruent to angle two. Yeah, you notice I threw that extra angle in there. Uh, I know this is true because we have a postulate, postulate 15. Well, it's not like it's Euclid's number, but um, if you wrote it out in full text, it looks more like this. Parallel lines cut by a transversal, then their corresponding angles are congruent. So again, the corresponding angles postulate is what's going to give us all the other theorems having to do with the related angles of parallel lines and a transversal. Well, now it's easy squeezy, right? We can uh, we see where we're going to go with this. Why are two and three congruent? Come on, everybody, you know they are. Give me a V. They are vertical angles. Let me move this over here a little bit. So I've got theorem 2.6 in our textbook. If two angles are vertical angles, then they are congruent. Uh, so I'm showing the shorthand here, but of course we can read it out loud. You can always write longhand. Um, make sure whatever shorthand you're using, that it's approved by your teacher. Uh, don't use my don't use my theorem or postulate numbers if you're, they don't match your textbook. Again, these aren't Euclid's. And look, we're done. We've got one is congruent to two. Two is congruent to three. And that for, therefore, by the transitive property, we're going to conclude that angle one is congruent to three. And we know that as the transitive property in our textbook, theorem 2.1, if two angles are congruent to the same angle, one and three are both congruent to two, then they are congruent to each other. And that concludes our proof.